All right. So this video is going to be um, <coughs> done more of a blogging format. Uh, I got this Joby stick. I'm using my iPhone and uh, just outside because Texas weather, it's getting really nice outside. So I figured why not? Let's just let's just start transitioning outside. And I'm literally transitioning outside. So I'm staying in the garage because the sun is out and it's really bright. And I got a good shade going on right here. Um, but today I'm going to talk about um, trying to personalize my cameras, right? Um, and a lot of people have different ways of doing it. And, uh, you know, thumb grips, hand grips, uh, hot shoe mounts, um, uh, soft release buttons. Um, the list is endless. Uh, for me, I'm starting off very small steps, baby steps. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I got. So my one of my first purchases. Now, now, mind you, I've had my cameras for, well, I've had the 240 for a long time. We're talking like four, maybe five years. Um, and I've always just kept the Leica strap that came with it. It's the nylon strap with the little black rubber piece that says Leica on it. I never really cared about any of it. Um, it didn't matter to me. Uh, when I got the QP that came with the leather strap, which was ideal, it worked. Uh, and I never changed that either. Uh, and now that I bought uh, the M246, um, also had the same nylon strap as the 240 with the little rubberized Leica thing. And I thought it was time to finally go out and purchase at least straps to start personalizing my stuff. So uh, looking online, there's a bunch of straps you can look at. Um, these, this is my favorite uh, from everything I saw. And um, let's go ahead and let's show you guys what, what we got, what we got. Okay, so this is the first one I'm going to show you guys. It's the green one. It's the Koof Braid Straps. Um, <clears throat> so you go to their webpage, you're gonna see that they have like four or five maybe different styles on there and a bunch of different colorways. I think it's like 12. Um, <clears throat> and one of them is actually a Leica one. Now I'm not so much of a Leica snob that I need to get the Leica one. Um, <clears throat> and besides, it's like almost a hundred bucks. Uh, this one, uh, it cost me like 50 bucks, uh, something like that, something in the ballpark of that. Um, they are amazingly done. Uh, they just feel really good uh, in your hands, around your neck. Uh, so I got the shorter of the, the three. I think there's three lengths. Uh, I'm just going to give ballpark uh, figures. I think it's 39 inches, 45 inches, and like 110 or 15 or something like that. Uh, this is a 39 inch. Uh, sits somewhere around the middle of my chest, like upper chest area, like around my sternum, uh, which is perfect, which is the ideal length for me. Um, so yeah, I, I, I looked around, I, I saw a bunch of, I, I really like these. Um, and you know, the colorways are amazing. Uh, texture feels great, feels good around your neck. Uh, today was my first day using it. So Koof braid straps. Now, um, like I said, I got, I got it for both cameras, right? So this is by far my favorite of the Koof braid straps. And on the M246, this yellow honey gold, whatever you want to call it, is just so nice. So nice. Definitely my favorite by far, um, aesthetically, uh, the one that uh, for sure catches, it's just an attention grabber. It's, it's, it's so cool. It looks so cool. Um, and I mean, if you're going to have, uh, top quality cameras, you probably should have, um, top quality cam straps. Something I, I kind of wish I would have done earlier, wish I would have purchased them earlier, but you know, hindsight's 2020. Um, so there you go. Uh, Koof braid straps, uh, bought two. If you buy them, um, I think it happened to me. I think I put one in the cart and then it gave me like the option to get a second one with some kind of discount. So I just took advantage of it. I knew I was going to get more than one anyway. Um, <clears throat> I thought maybe I'd try it out first and then get another one, but no, I just, I just bought them both. Um, 
and then figured why not let's just get two different colors and see to see what they look like so there you go uh, let's hold them both up so we can see them uh, boom there they go look at that so cool uh, all right um, if you're in the market for a strap I would say uh, this should be one to consider by far uh, and if you you know like a, a bunch of my friends are true like a snob and need to have the like a brand on your uh, strap hey more power to you get it uh, those are awesome cool um, and they have a different colorway I think than um, the rope ones the, the braided rope uh, and then there's other ones like I said so get on there check it out uh, I'll leave the description below no affiliation to me or anything no sponsorship or anything like that um, just something new I got, uh, I was thinking about, I know I hadn't posted in a little bit and I figured it, uh, it'd be a good post to put up. So, um, I hope you're, uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you're in the market, like I said, check it out. Um, let me know what strap you got. Let me know if you have one, what colorway you got. And, um, you know, I, I may pick up, I may pick up another one. So if you, if you're like, oh, you gotta get the red one or whatever. And, you know, Nine times out of 10, they look way better in your hand than they do on the screen. So, all right. Thanks a lot for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll get back on track here shortly. Spring break came around, so I kind of fell off. All right. Take it easy, guys. Later.